was a china berry tree. And uh, I saw, I found a picture among my pictures uh, the other night, and I noticed that old china berry tree had, was still there, but didn't have any leaves on it. I guess it's dead. So uh, I wanted to tell you more about the big square well. The uh, colored uh, people on the place were awful good to, to us and helped my mother when they could, when she needed them. And they were good to me. And there was one colored uh, lady, her name was Lizzie Sapp, and she was a very sweet person. And she made me, I was a small girl then, and she made me a cute little rag doll. And she stuffed it with cotton, made some little eyes, and put some hair on its head. And it was a real cute, sweet little doll. She made clothes for it and put a little apron on it. And I played with it and loved it. And I called it Lizzie after her. And uh, my mother was doing a washing one day under the shed. And I went out, took Lizzie, Lizzie with me, and went out to watch Mama do the washing and put the washing on the clotheslines. And while the baby was asleep, I didn't have to watch the baby. And uh, I dropped Lizzie, little Lizzie in the well, and that broke my heart. I cried and cried. But Mother, there was two buckets to this well. There was a rope fastened to each bucket, and uh, you pull one bucket of water up while the other bucket went down and filled with water. And then you pull it up, the other one went down and filled. And so Mother finally got little Lizzie up out of the well in one of the buckets, and I put her out in the sunshine, and the sunshine dried her, and I played with her. I don't remember what I ever did with little Lizzie, my doll, but she was a very sweet little doll, and I enjoyed her a lot, and that was a part of my story that I didn't get to tell you. <laughs>